afternoon everybody and um, welcome back to another wee episode of Whitebeard's Kitchen. Um, it's Saturday and um, I have an obligatory pint. Uh, no rugby on this weekend. Um, so this is a very simple dish that I'm going to do. Um, in actual fact it's a wee favourite cake for my better half. It's a uh, ginger cake. Um, she loves that um, and she loves carrot cake and she loves lemon drizzle. So I haven't made this one um, so hopefully I'll not screw up on it. And hopefully this will work out. This is what I have sitting on my little table um, just here um, at the back um, is uh, 275 grams of self raisin flour and one um, level teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda just don't overdo it with the bicarbonate of soda so we'll have that mixed um, sorry 225 grams I should say of self raisin flour two tablespoonfuls of ground ginger powder um, one tablespoon of um, ground mixed spice or one teaspoon, one teaspoon, I can't get these teaspoons and tablespoons, but one teaspoon of uh, mixed spice, and make sure it's mixed spice, not all spice. Um, I also have, um, as well, a quarter teaspoon um, of cinnamon powder, one quarter teaspoon of um, nutmeg. I was making up my own uh, mixed spice when I couldn't find it, so part of doing that was cardamom powder. So I've got a wee pinch of cardamom powder in here, just made from green cardamom seeds, just uh, spiced up. I probably have roughly about three quarters of a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. Um, and um, I, I have a, an egg sitting here. Hopefully I don't drop it. Last cake I made, I did. I dropped two on the floor. Um, then in the pot that I have, which I'm going to melt down, is uh, 100 grams of uh, butter, 100 um, grams or three and a half ounces of black treacle, 100 grams of golden syrup, or again, three and a half ounces. And I also have um, 100 grams of um, dark brown sugar which is very fine it should be muscovado sugar light muscovado hadn't got that so we'll see how this turns out it should be fine i have got my baking tin greased and the parchment paper another hip a uh, pet hate of mine, bloody parchment paper, but however, a bit like cling film, but not as bad, so that's all greased, ready to go. So what I need to do is just heat this little mix up, let it cool for a tiny wee bit, and then uh, mix that in with the dry ingredients, which will be the old spice, which I'm going to mix in now. Sorry, the, not the old spice, the mixed spice. So just give another a bit of a whirl around, make sure it's all mixed through really well. Um, and the smell's absolutely lovely. Um, you know, just those uh, warm and spices. What I'm going to do is, um, this is a wee bit on the wet side, um, but I will take my chance with it. Put it in uh, my, we'll call it three quarters of a teaspoon, teaspoon of uh, grated ginger, proper ginger. The old stuff I use in curries and stir fries. Okay, so that's that little bit done. Well folks, that's the um, black treacle, sir, sugar, uh, all dissolved, I hope. Um, I've let it cool down a wee bit. So now, just to pour this lovely mixture in onto those wet ingredients, or sorry, dry ingredients, the wet going into the dry. Good God, what is wrong with me today? Um, probably I haven't had a beer. I've only started. Uh, so get that all in as much as that as possible. There, try and be. I waste not, want not. I try and get every scrap in. And later on, I'll probably lick this before I wash it. As usual, so Whitebeard will today become Blackbeard. Yes, and you can see probably a tin of Guinness maybe in the background at some point. That is not going in. That glass is sitting, that is now empty. And the glass is sitting over there, half full. Get my wooden spoon. And just start to give this a wee bit of a mix through. Gently to start off with at first. The flour, obviously I have sifted um, to try and avoid any lumps. And wow, you can already smell the mixture of the cinnamon the um, mix space um, in this absolutely wonderful so have my egg large egg just pop that in give that a bit of a mix round yep I'm using a wooden spoon as you can see I probably could have put this into used a electric mixer but hey ho Bit of exercise for exercising the right arm. Says you, you're probably doing that with your pints of beer, certainly am, or will do. Right, that's well mixed. So, what I'm going to do is just add the milk in the 275 mils, not all at one go. I'll just add a wee bit in at a time. 
and hopefully don't create a mess. Um, my t-shirt isn't that long on me, it's only a few hours, but hey, wouldn't be me if I didn't spill something on myself. And yes, I do have aprons over there, and I'm holding this like a pen because I get a better go of it. Add another taste of splash of milk in. Um, say 275 mils. It is a very kind of um, runny type batter almost it's consistency this. So when we get that all mixed properly. Yep. Speed it up a wee bit Trevor, my proper name, but with a white beard, hence the channel name. Right. Um, I'll just leave a wee tiny bit off just in case it went over. Measurement of that will do no harm. Get this mixed in. This is one of my larger bones. I'm just worried that this might go over the place. So, yep, that's doing fine. So, to do this in a conventional oven, it's 180 degrees centigrade. Um, I never know what the Fahrenheit is. So, for any folks that in the States or Australia that might use that or wherever else, uh, use Fahrenheit instead of centigrade. My apologies, I'll let you work that out in the wee conversion table. So it's 180 degrees in the conventional oven, mine's a fan oven. So we'll stick that down probably into about 160, um, 165 max. Um, roughly for about 35 um, to 40 minutes. And do the old cake test. Stick a skewer in the middle and if it comes out dry, well and good it's ready. If not, one can let it do because every oven um, is obviously different irrespective of the temperature that you set on it. It's the make. So there we are. That's the kit. Just give it a bit of a punch. Make sure it's spread out evenly. That's it now ready for the oven. Into the oven. Keep your fingers crossed in 35 or 40 minutes and this thing will be cooked and I just hope that it comes out. Well folks, here we are back again. That's the cake out of the oven. Um, it's been cooling in the tin. Um, probably for about 10 minutes, so I've now just removed it from the tin, put it onto a wire rack to cool, and then, all being well, it'll be ready for dishing out to the better half, um, who is upstairs making candles, um, and probably soaps maybe this time round as well. Please do pay her website uh, a visit, uh, my darling wife Pamela, it's called amysearth.com. Um, you'll definitely purchase some wonderful um, scented candles uh, and vegan soaps um, at reasonable prices and the candles do burn for hours and the scents um, are absolutely fantastic. Um, maybe she'll make a gingerbread um, candle um, at some point to go along with my cake. And while the smell of that and the cake would be absolutely wonderful. Well, everyone, that's my ginger cake that I've showed you there. That's it, ready. Um, it's now beginning to blow an absolute gale here um, in the uh, Mourn Mountains area. Um, I have the mountains directly behind my house, literally, and I have the Irish Sea directly facing me. And last night we had one of those good plasticky type, um, what would you call it, greenhouses? I'm going to say it's probably about 10 foot by about 6 or 7, it was well secured. Um, it's no longer there. So it's starting up the night again. I've just been out with the bins. I'm looking forward to getting a slice of that cake. Um, my pint of Guinness that I showed you earlier, or my drop of Guinness, I spilled the damn thing, well most of it. So I'm going to have another one. Um, if you do like the recipe for the cake, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please do subscribe to the channel, it costs you nothing. Um, see you soon. Have a good weekend and rock on.